Hey there, this is Mark. In this video, we're going to take a look at advanced displays. In this scene, I have a character that has lighting on it, and if I scrub the timeline, I can see that the front character doesn't have any of these changes. But working in a viewport that has everything included might bog down my scene, as you've seen in the previous video. So what I want to do is add a display, but control things independently. I'm going to go to my Edit, Preferences. If you have a Macintosh, go on File Preferences. And under the Advanced tab, I'm going to turn on Advanced Display. Press OK. And you'll notice that now we see display up here, as well as up here on the camera view, and down here in the timeline. And each of these displays say Default which means that if it's set to default, it will show whatever my main toolbar is selected. What I might want to do is create a new display, and I can do that by going to the node view and adding a display node, or I can hit the shortcut, which is Control y on a PC or Command y on a Mac. Now I have one display showing everything and another connected to Selena. So I'm going to switch this to display 2 so that I only isolate to this. And what I can do now is I can look at display two, which is showing in camera and timeline, and change this timeline to show a different display. So I could literally go and add a third display and change that to display three. Now I'm effectively viewing display two, but display three is showing me the timeline for Terry. So what I want to edit is the highlight. I can go in my timeline and hit O. And this will bring me to the highlight node. And as I scrub through, I can see where the lighting changes are happening on Selena. So I just want to time those transparencies in the highlight module for Terry to match. I can see that over here it's off, so I'm going to set a keyframe. And I can scrub so that it's on at this frame. And I'm going to click this little plus down so that I can edit the alpha channel of that highlight. Set that first keyframe to zero. Now it's going to 100, holding at 100 until about here. and coming back down to zero about here. Since these timing changes are happening on twos, see that they're not on every single keyframe, I'm going to make sure that the same thing happens in this animation. Then I can remove the motion between right-clicking set stop motion and I can then switch my display to 3 to see my character if I so chose to see that his highlights will animate on and off. So this is an advantage to working with isolated displays uh, in an advanced mode so that you can control and view things independently. 